Welcome back with an update on the tropics. Just covering all in one go because there's invests. Anyways, we got 90 mile an hour winds currently with um, Nigel. It has weakened back down to Cat 1. It only had a 100 mile an hour wind peak. It might be determined post -se with the postseason analysis that it had like a peak of 105. I would not be surprised if that was the case. Hold on. So, yeah, I would not be surprised if it turned out to have a 105 peak, but it is forecast to maintain the strength through the night, weakening slowly as it eventually becomes post-tropical with 65 mile an hour winds on the 22nd, weakening further down, bottoming out at 45 mile an hour winds at the end of the forecast, itching closer towards Iceland. So from there, satellite imagery, once it loads in, there we go. Um, this will be the thumbnail, by the way. Because we got this and Kenneth. Um, we got Cone. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting situation here. Models do have it eventually impacting Iceland. And winds. So, and again, looking at tropical storm force winds in Iceland. Saturday night into Sunday. So that's something, again, to watch out for. Then we have Kenneth with 50 mile an hour winds. It did strengthen a little bit. And this is essentially its forecast to peak. Cannot rule out a brief peak of like 55, 60 mile an hour winds before weakening back down. Have 45, 40, and then post tropical with 30 mile an hour winds to the end of the forecast. So, satellite imagery. Um, it's getting a little bit robust, but it's also kind of falling. It's getting sheared. Uh, we got cone models and winds um so on to the invests and areas of interest more or less not invest at this time so we got the tropical wave with cape verde with a 10 percent chance of forming over the next couple days 70 percent chance over the next week and we have the other area of interest uh, near the u.s coast with a 10 percent chance of forming over the next couple days 40 percent chance over the next week and this is what we're looking at so we could see Ophelia and Philip, or is it Felipe? Anyways, um, and this is labeled as an invest. Okay, so we have invest 96E. Hold on. Yet yeah, 96E with a 10% chance of forming over the next couple of days. 70% chance over the next week. I have another area of interest with a 40% chance of forming over the next week. I'm not sure if we have X marks the spot for that one. Um, so, we don't, but we ha do have X marks the spot for the other thing. Um, so this could form into something. Um, odds are, it'll form into something in the Central Pacific, and we might actually have a Hawaiian named storm. So... We'll have to see what happens. So with that, that's about it. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.